May 9, 2018 The 2018 Eastern Pacific hurricane season doesn't officially start until next week, but a disturbance far off the Mexican coast may jump the starting gun and become the season's first tropical depression or tropical storm this week. More, Hurricane Central, the disturbance, dubbed Invest 90E by the National Hurricane Center, is currently centered more than 1,000 miles southwest of Los Cabos, Mexico. More, what is an Invest and why does it matter? Current information, infrared satellite The environment around Invest 90E currently lacks the changing winds with height known as wind shear that can tear apart a disturbance trying to develop, according to an analysis from the University of Wisconsin. Instead, the upper-level winds are generally fanning away from the disturbance both to its north and south, helping to create the upward motion needed for thunderstorms and the surface pressure to lower. The National Hurricane Center has given Invest 90 a medium chance of developing into at least a tropical depression in the next five days. Given this system is already far from land and steering winds are likely to be weak, it will be no threat to land, regardless of whether or not it develops, drifting toward the west-northwest or northwest. If it becomes a tropical storm, it would earn the first name of the 2018 Eastern Pacific hurricane season, Aleta. More, 2018 Atlantic Hurricane Season Outlook, Storm Names of the 2018 Eastern Pacific Hurricane Season. Another early start? This could be a case of deja vu. One year ago, Tropical Storm Adrian became the earliest tropical cyclone on record to form in the Eastern Pacific Basin. Adrian became a tropical depression, then strengthened to a tropical storm on May 9, 2017, south of the Pacific coasts of Mexico and Guatemala, before wind shear to or it apart the following day. The Eastern Pacific hurricane season runs from May 15 through November 30, beginning roughly two weeks earlier than the Atlantic hurricane season. According to the National Hurricane Center, an average Eastern Pacific season has its first named storm by the second week of June. Since 2000, however, 19 named storms have formed in May in the Eastern Pacific Basin. Nine of those storms eventually became hurricanes and six became major hurricanes, category 3 or stronger. More, when the Atlantic hurricane season starts early, tracks of all Eastern Pacific named storms to form in May from 2000 to 2016, NOAA historical hurricane tracks and, unlike the current system, some of these storms had land impact. Five of those May storms made landfall either in southeast Mexico's Gulf of Tehuantepec or in Central America. What is, Barbara in 2013, landfell as a hurricane in the Gulf of Tehuantepec coast. The 2015 Eastern Pacific hurricane season got off to a record start, including a frenetic May, fueled by an intensifying El Nino. Hurricane Andres formed over the open waters on May 29th then intensified to Category 4 intensity as the calendar turned to June. https colon slash slash youtube.be slash fo3xwhg that was followed immediately by another category 4 hurricane, Blanca, which first became a tropical depression on May 31st. Blanca went on to become the earliest landfalling tropical storm on record in Baja California, moving ashore on June 8th. More, here's how Eastern Pacific storms can eventually impact the U.S. The weather company's primary journalistic mission is to report on breaking weather news, the environment and the importance of science to our lives. Story does not necessarily represent the position of our parent company, IBM.